Hi and welcome to our channel. Due to the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies, all decisions on changes to the coin code are made by the community. There are two ways in this matter, the more soft one called soft fork, which allows the cryptocurrency to continue to live a happy life with an updated structure, and the second one, hard fork, which does not allow to live the same life and the coin is forced to split into two networks if the community members will not come to a common denominator. In this video, we will explain in detail what hard forks are, why they are needed, and how to prepare for this event if you are a miner or a coin holder. All cryptocurrencies are unique networks that operate on their principle. The functioning of the system runs its course up to a certain point until some improvement is required. The introduction of a modification to create more favorable operating conditions is usually associated with a system rollback. In such a situation, the last blocks up to a conditional checkpoint are modified. Accordingly, all last transactions are overwritten. All this does not imply that a global change will be introduced into the system, so this operation is called a soft fork. If a more global change is required in the system, a hard fork is used. This procedure affects the very principles of how the system works. The situation escalates to the point where the old software version becomes practically useless and incompatible with the new changes. The hard fork leads to a situation where the system is split into two different branches. Users are left with two choices. They can stay in the old network without accepting the rules of the new network, or they can migrate to the new network and accept the new rules. Because of this dramatic transition, the operation is called a hard fork, because unlike a soft fork, here you already have to choose one of the parties. Several serious reasons can lead to the need to implement a hard fork of cryptocurrency. In most cases, they lie in flaws in the system that manifest themselves over time. It is not uncommon for problems to accumulate that lead to a reduction in speed. The simplest example of the need for a hard forward is a change in the size of a single block. With Bitcoin being considered the most common and popular cryptocurrency, it was the first time it needed a hard fork. For many years, miners and users have had no serious problems completing transactions and mining the cryptocurrency. As its popularity grew, so did the number of users using Bitcoins to pay. Initially, the transaction rate was 7 units per second. Soon there came a point when this time was not enough. The situation led to problems with the scalability of the network. Each time the transaction took more and more time. The critical point was a situation when it took more than a day to complete a transaction. Naturally, this had the effect of increasing payment processing fees. A lot of problems led to the fact that users stopped working with this cryptocurrency and switched to other assets. Only a hard fork was able to solve the problem. For the community to embrace all the changes as a new cryptocurrency after the hard fork, it requires to introduce serious changes to its initial blockchain. Novelties formed by making the changes incompatible with the old rules. The cardinal changes necessary to implement hard fork include a change in the issue amount for new payments, a new time for creating a single block is specified, the amount of the reward for opening a block is formed as well as the time of a new chain adjustment. An algorithm is formed which affects the difficulty of finding a new block and therefore its extraction. New block size is determined and it is additionally specified that this parameter can change after some time, as it is inevitable during the successful development of the cryptocurrency. It's worth noting right away that in practice rarely drastic changes affect all parameters. For a hard fork, two, three parameters are enough to make the essence work differently. This can be seen in the example of one of the most popular offshoot of Bitcoin Cash. It is similar to the original Bitcoin in many ways. They have virtually the same issue of 21 million coins. Their block creation period is also not much different. It only took a few significant changes for Bitcoin Cash to be recognized as a new currency after the hard fork. Almost any party can initiate a hard forward. It can be proposed by creators of electronic coins, miners, or those who use them to pay. If the initiator manages to gather a significant number of like-minded people around him, 
he will be able to convince the cryptocurrency community that a hard fork is needed. If a significant number of people disagree on exactly what the future of this cryptocurrency should look like, it will lead to a split. Even experienced experts cannot predict the exact development of the network since the opinion of users and owners who support a particular branch becomes decisive. There are several paths of development. Almost all of them begin with the emergence of two systems working independently. In one scenario, the new branch, in which all the changes made remain relevant, becomes more popular among users than the old system. This leads to the gradual withering away of the outdated branch that used to be the mainstream. After a hard fork, users may not support all the changes made, and a large part of them will remain faithful to the old system. Thus, a blockchain with new branch blocks will be created for some time, until they finally lose popularity and the branch dies out. According to the third scenario, already put into practice after one of the Bitcoin Cash hard forks, the new and old branches get enough followers to remain relevant. With the right number of miners and cryptocurrency owners, the two branches are functioning, albeit with varying degrees of popularity. Hard fork plays a big role for miners who are engaged in this business all the time. For them, creating a fork is primarily another opportunity to increase their earnings. As a rule, common popular cryptocurrencies turn out to be difficult to mine. They are mainly engaged in those miners who have enough large capacities because otherwise the competition is difficult to withstand. With the changes, cryptocurrency mining becomes easier. Moreover, some blockchains allow the use of newly available hardware, such as video cards. Taking Bitcoin and Bitcoin Gold as examples, despite the similarity of the code, gold mining is much easier and faster than the original cryptocurrency. Investors' actions during the hard fork are primarily aimed at protecting their savings. Securing electronic coins with private keys and placing them into multiple wallets allow them to protect themselves from fraudsters and keep the currency if the market becomes very unstable. Distribution of currency to personal wallets helps to use it in the future in two systems. Accordingly, there is an opportunity to wait and decide on a more profitable direction of branching. If an investor saves money in an exchange during a hard fork, it remains impossible to use coins in two systems, because the exchange account will transfer coins to the currency that the exchange will accept as the main currency. Saving accumulated cryptocurrency for investors is only part of what they want. They also care about making money from it. During the first rate hikes, they often use exchanges to sell coins at a better rate. Investors are guided in their choice by their assumptions and expert forecasts. The first time after a split is often a serious period for speculation. Conducting a hard fork is almost always ambiguous. After that, not only the pluses but also the minuses appear. Their objective assessment leads to splits in the mining community and the spread of cryptocurrency. The main advantages are as follows. A high-quality operation helps to remove all the defects that were present in the work of the platform, which led to an increase in the speed of its operation. Many users get the opportunity to increase their some people did capital as new coins from the branch begin to appear. The cryptocurrency market develops, new abilities appear, which the old system did not have. Sites are being upgraded to support the competitiveness of older electronic coins. New opportunities for investing in crypto the currency are opening up, new opportunities for mining appeared. The main disadvantages of conducting a hard fork include, there is no exact certainty in understanding how exactly the hard fork will show itself in practice and will reflect on the development of the entire system. There is a split in the cryptocurrency community. It is impossible to say exactly which branch of the fork will become the main one after the operation. The procedure increases the volatility of the cryptocurrency, which may lead to a reduction in investment by depositors. Sometimes the hard fork is not initiated to improve network performance, but for some other selfish purpose, such as the elimination of ASIC miners. After a hard fork, the activity of scammers will greatly increase. Given the prominence and prevalence of the Bitcoin cryptocurrency, it was its hard forces that were the most famous high profile and historically the first. Not all of the offshoots were successful and received user support, which once again 
reminds us of the risk. It is worth taking a closer look at what happened to cryptocurrency during these forks. Bitcoin XT was the first hard fork in the cryptocurrency world. It happened in the summer of 2015. After making some changes, it was decided to create a new electronic currency Bitcoin XT. The main reason for these actions was the need of increase the blockchain volume. Otherwise, it would not be possible to eliminate the limitations of the current system, gradually inferior to developing competitors. The practice showed that the first splinter branch did not receive the necessary popularity. The Bitcoin core team initiated the process. Bitcoin Classic Another hard fork in the Bitcoin network offered to increase the block size to 2 megabytes in the first stage. The first stage was supposed to last two years after the block size was supposed to grow to 4 megabytes. This fork turned out to be the first one that users greeted warmly. Many agreed to the upcoming changes, but all wanted to clarify the details, which led to long discussions and negotiations. All of these turned out to be a loss of relevance for the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin Cash this hard fork was one of the most scandalous. It was held in the summer of 2017. Then the cryptocurrency introduced a special software which was called Segwit. This technology made it possible to prescribe all the operations with the cryptocurrency behind the block itself. Naturally, there were people who did not accept the innovation and took another branch of the fork. Bitcoin Cash became just that splinter branch, whose adherents did not accept the new software. Thanks to their actions, it was possible to increase the size of a single block by 8 megabytes. They also added crash protection to help better preserve transaction data. After this hard fork, the input data started to be signed. It is worth noting an interesting fact that the initiators of this branching promised to conduct another one in 2018, already based on Bitcoin Cash as the main branch. Ethereum is the second most popular cryptocurrency in the world. Not as many hard forces have happened here as the leader. The first time it happened, it was forced. It started with the creation of a decentralized venture capital fund. It happened in 2016. The fund was named DAO. A global smart contract was used to implement it. The main purpose of using this fund was to use it to allocate finances to dApps, which were created based on Ethereum. This innovation aroused great interest among investors. The project quickly received the necessary amount of funds for implementation. During the development of the code, a loophole was left in it, which allowed withdrawing about 30% of the entire cryptocurrency capital to the account of one of the companies. According to the terms of the smart contract, it was impossible to use the withdrawn money immediately. The hackers had 28 days before they could use the money they received. Naturally, such a situation caused a lot of discontent in the community and heated arguments began. During the discussion of solving the problem, it was decided to conduct a hard fork of Ethereum, which would roll back the system. Not everyone supported the decision and some felt that the hard fork was not that necessary, although it was carried out. The new offshoot left the original name of Ethereum. Users who did not accept the change created their community that worked with the unupdated digital currency. It was named Ethereum Classic. The results of the Ethereum hard work showed that it was the new offshoot that retained the original name that proved to be the most popular. It is now in second place in the world ranking, while the classic version is 11th. According to experts, the cryptocurrency's hard fork will not stop there. Many believe that after a certain time, the creators will have to address issues to unlimited issuance to provide greater protection for the functionality of the platform. This will be the main task of the future hard fork for Ethereum. In this situation, care and patience become the main factors that will help preserve capital. Most significant here is the private key that remains with the customer. With such a key, the user can gain access to all available funds. There is a simple self-protection scheme applicable to almost any hard fork with any cryptocurrency. It is necessary to export the private key from the cryptocurrency address and wait for the hard fork. This is relevant even after the fork occurred, so you should export the key in any case. Create a new address for your cryptocurrency and transfer existing funds to it. Install the software to work with the new currency formed after the hard fork. Next, you will need to import the key you received during the first stage, which will provide access to the new coins. Create an address for the new currency and transfer the existing capital to it. This scheme will allow you 
to get two addresses at once. The first will contain the old coins relevant before the hard work. The second will contain the new ones formed after the fork. Wallet addresses will not be interconnected with each other. If there is no desire to act independently, you can trust the exchange. Naturally, this should be a proven partner with a good reputation taking care of its customers. As a rule, everything happens in automatic mode and the owners are just informed that their coins are converting to a new currency after the hard fork. Here it is also possible to create two separate wallets for each cryptocurrency and then you can transfer them to your wallet and exchange them for something else. Experienced cryptocurrency investors always perceive the hard fork ambiguously because after it, there is a fluctuation in the rate. This leads to both losses and gains, which depend on the choice of the party. It's difficult to determine the success of hard fork, but if you pay attention to several factors, you can understand the level of reliability of the new cryptocurrency. The initiators proposing the change should be studied. Their number, level of influence, technical capabilities, the intensity of information dissemination all have an impact on success. Small teams often fail a hard fork. The initial value of the new cryptocurrency. If it turns out to be very high at first, it often leads to a drop in its value or very difficult growth, which is unprofitable for investors. Analysis of the user base. It is required to consider existing exchanges which have added cryptocurrency to their work. If it is actively represented on the world market, it is a good sign for its further development. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.